So I've been having so much fun making animations for my 20 time project that I wanted to share a little bit of what I've learned. So today for my app smash I will be using both the Google Drawing app and um, iMovie which comes loaded standard on your Mac computers and if you don't have a Mac there's a lot of other programs which essentially do the same and it's more about the concepts that I want to teach today using two basic programs, drawing and video editing, in order to get a cartoon-like animation, much like this bouncing ball that you see here. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure you're logged into your Google account and then go ahead and go to Drive. I like to just type in drive.google.com, it'll take me there, go to more, and open up your drawing app from your Drive. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start off by naming this frame or picture that we're about to draw. I'm going to call it Cartoon 1, just for simplicity's sake. So I've already made a bouncing ball without a setting, so in this particular cartoon, I think I'm going to step my game up by trying to create a setting for my cartoon. So um, what I just did is I drew a box, it's a blue box, you can probably guess what it's going to be. It's going to be a body of water, which I will combine with an, a real image. So back at my drawing now, I'm going to go ahead and insert that image by using my drop down menu and going to insert, upload photo, and of course selecting that picture that I just downloaded to my hard drive. There it is, Atlanta with cartoonish water. Now all it needs of course um, are some watercraft. So I'm gonna go ahead and in a moment I'm gonna go ahead and draw a boat and uh, this boat is going to move across the water in front of the huge body of water resting in front of Atlanta. So here I go, draw my boat. My boat's progressing nicely and when I'm done it's going to be three parts which I want to bring together into one. So in order to do that I'm going to hold down shift, click on the, the mast, the sail, and the boat itself and that'll select all three parts and then I will right click and then hit group to put it all into one part instead of three. Okay, so I just completed frame one. Now I want to make frame two by doing file, drop down, make a copy. And this one I'm going to call cartoon two. Frame one was called cartoon one. Frame two is going to be called cartoon two. So I know where it falls in the sequence. And then all I have to do is move that boat just a little bit forward. And then I'm going to go ahead and make it a copy again. And this time I'm going to call it, of course, cartoon three. And then what I'm going to do on this frame is I'm going to once again move that boat a little bit further ahead again and then I'll do it again repeatedly. In this particular cartoon I'm going to have a total of 12 frames and just to spice things up a little bit I think I'll add, introduce some other cartoon objects into the seascape in order to make my story a little bit more interesting. So go ahead and take a look at what develops um, frame by frame as my boat slowly moves across uh, the waterway. Okay, developed my 12 scenes already with the boat moving across the screen from left to right and the submarine, of course, from right to left and then a little octopus coming in at the very end. What I next have to do is download each of these 12 images. So if I go to the file drop down, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, download as and I'm going to select JPEG. Um, and I'm going to do that for all 12 images. Okay, done with the drawing portion of this, now it's time to get into the iMovie portion, video editing. So I'm going to go ahead and open up iMovie and I'm going to create a new movie. I usually choose no theme. I like to create my projects from scratch and themes are a little bit too already made for me. So I choose no theme and down below I've got my storyline and I need to populate that storyline with my 12 images. So in order to do that, I am going to go ahead and get into my downloads file um, and select bottom, select top, hold down shift, drag it all into my storyboard. And when I do that, um, I've got 12 images, hopefully in sequence, um, ready to play left to right to tell my entire story. But unfortunately, it looks like my images got put in there backwards. So what I'm going to have to do now is make sure that I start off with cartoon one at the very far left 
um, and Cartoon 12 at the very far. The next step to take is to choose your frame by frame and take off that Ken Burns effect. Ken Burns moving the camera all around. So instead we're going to choose each frame, we're going to hit adjust and in adjust there's a little cropping tool. Choose that cropping tool and then make sure you move it from selection of uh, Ken Burns to fit. Okay. After that, we need to work on the timing. Now, each of these pictures is defaulted to four seconds. Four seconds would be an extremely long slow motion uh, video. So we're going to change that to a tenth of a second. So under uh, adjust and I, you're going to see it's defaulted to four seconds. You're going to change that 4.0 to 1.1, which is a tenth of a second. So once you've adjusted the timing on there, um, you'll see that it flows in a pretty fluid fashion. I mean, if you wanted it to be more fluid, you could put more frames with even smaller movements, but this illustrates the purpose well. A uh, tenth of a second, 10 frames per second gives you this movement across the, the screen. And there you have your animation. Because my animation was so short, I decided to copy all my frames. So Command C and then paste another set of the same frames, which essentially loops them um, at the end. And now I have the same action repeated twice. How you create a simple loop and twice the amount of time, so 2.4 seconds. But no animation would be complete without sound, so I am going to go ahead and go down to my sound effects and go ahead and add. Let me see if there's any boat sound effects that I can add to add some life to this otherwise silent film. So there it is. I'm going to go ahead and choose that big old boat horn and then I'm going to go ahead and drop it underneath my storyboard in order to um, add sound. <laughs> Beyond sound, I'm also a big fan of music in a movie, so I will also go and type in, um, organize my sound effects by genre, and I'm going to look for jingles, and there, I'm just going to go ahead and grab, grab a, uh, a song that I think would work well with my movie, put it all together.